Nothing can blow up my house. Nothing can. Impossible. Oh my god. Oh no. My doors. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we are going to take a look at the Explodables mod. Of course, this mod adds in explosives, and these ones actually won't kill you. I find that like the biggest problem with mods to add in explosives is that there's no way to get away from the giant explosion that's about to happen. But these ones are actually powered with redstone, so you can get pretty far away. And most of them are very useful and not just like massive explosions you really couldn't use in your survival. And there are some pretty cool items that can actually protect from explosives. Like this house I made right here. You cannot blow this up. It is impossible. Same thing with these chests right here. But anyways, let's get started. So the first one is the shaped charge. And the recipe for this one is plastic explosives, an iron ingot, and obsidian. And to actually make these explosives, you are going to need clay and TNT. And the cool thing about this item is you can actually decide which direction you want it to explode to. So it doesn't just like explode in your face. But if I wanted to like explode towards something, I definitely can do that. And it is a bit stronger than normal TNT. So right now, you see this like yellow part? It's going to explode in this direction. And the cool thing is you don't use flint and steel. You can actually get very far away. Just use some redstone and power it. And it is ready to explode. It should only go in that direction. You should be pretty safe on this side of it. So kind of cool. I like how you can decide like where you want it to explode. It won't just go up right in your face and destroy everything. Is isn't that right, cow? So just another quick example with this one, I can place it like right there, and now it will explode down. So if you really need to like get down into the earth, you can definitely do this, and it should just explode below us. And you'll see right, bam, there we go, pretty cool, and made a decent sized crater right here. So the next item is the blasting gel. The recipe for this one is gunpowder, redstone, and this item right here. And to make this, you need to either smelt bones or leather. This item's actually pretty cool. It makes like a hole directly underneath you. It's not really an explosion. I'll show you guys what I mean. And it actually works like redstone. So I put it down right there. If I power this, it'll make like a hole directly underneath it. So here we go. Yeah, it just makes a hole right underneath it. Um, You can make like a giant hole out of it. Like if you grabbed a bunch of it and made like a square out of it or something. And then powered it. Giant hole. Pretty cool. I definitely haven't seen anything like that in a mod before. So we are on to the spoke bomb. And the recipe for this one is a plastic explosive and a bunch of molten iron. And to make that, you will need iron ingots and also a bucket of lava. This one is pretty interesting. We're going to need to go under the ground to actually show it. But luckily, you know, we like blew everything up around here. So this should be good. So what I'm going to do is put it down right here. And it's going to explode in this direction. Like the opposite of this part of it. And honestly, it's really hard to explain without actually showing you guys. So I'm just going to light it up, and we will see what happens here. All right, putting down my redstone torch, and it's going to explode in that direction. All right. Bam. And you see how there's, like, metal all around? What this does is makes, like, a mine for you and prevents any gravel and sand from falling in. So it's kind of cool. If there was gravel right above this, none of it would fall into your mine. Even if you're, like, close to the surface in, like, a desert and there's, like, sand everywhere... It would all get stuck on top of this. So definitely useful in a Minecraft world. The next item is called the Claymore Mine. And the recipe for it is a bunch of plastic explosives and also some iron ingots. And this one actually kills mobs. So if you're going mining, there's mobs all over the place. You can actually like blow them up. It does not destroy any blocks. I spawned some zombies in right here. All you need to do is like face it in the direction you want it to explode like that. And we are going to light this. And here we go. Should explode anything directly in front. What are you holding there, bro? You're about to die though, aren't you? Oh man, he's holding like one of the explosives. And yeah, as you can see, it killed some of them. But this one has survived and now he's dancing like a crazy person. Um, So what I'm going to do is just explode him again. Get back in there. Get back in there, bro. I am about to blow this cave up. Alright, there we go. Didn't mean to place that second one. But he's going to die and give me that back. Thank you. But yeah, definitely cool. You can explode a lot of stuff and not have to worry about, like, your cave blowing up. It just kills the mobs. So I think we have pretty much cleared it out. So now we're actually on to the final explosive. And this one is called the Breaching Charge. The recipe is a bunch of plastic explosives and also some wood. And honestly, it doesn't matter which kind of wood you use. 
So this one, it's actually for like breaking into places and the only way to break down these doors in the mod. So if I place it like right here, it's gonna blow my door open. It won't actually like destroy it, but it will blow it open. So I'm going to light it like this and you will see. Only way to get into this fortress I created. Bam, door is open. So kind of cool. Um, that's really the only use for it as it doesn't actually explode any blocks. I've tested it, doesn't really do anything. So now we're actually onto some useful items that just don't explode. And that would be the obsidian door, reinforced glass, reinforced glass pane, and also the explosives chest. So the recipes for these are this one, all obsidian, this glass, obsidian, and glass, and of course a ton of that to make the panes. And also the chest is going to involve obsidian and iron ingots. So definitely very cool. As you can tell, the chests do not have a lot of space in them. But of course, nothing will explode inside it, which is nice. So guys, I built this little house right here. And it's made out of all these different materials. I put some like glass panes right here. Just to show you guys an example. You cannot blow this up. So I'm going to put TNT all over this. And we'll see what happens. Probably going to blow up the ground a little bit though. But yeah, this thing cannot be destroyed. Impossible. Only way to do it is to get that item that can blow the door open. So yeah, let me just cover the top with some TNT here. And we will get a nice explosion going. Alright, here we go. So nothing can blow up my house. Nothing can. Impossible. Oh my god. Oh no. My doors. My doors are gone because the ground went... <laughs> the doors are gone. Because there's no ground. So if for some reason you decide you want to blow up your house, make sure you have obsidian underneath your doors or your doors are just going to fall and be gone forever. So we're going to blow this up once again. I have obsidian underneath it and everything should be fine. But yeah, look at that. My house has survived all those explosions. Only issue I had was my floor, obviously. And of course, the doors just fell out from underneath it. But anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.